For this project, I headed to my local Dollar Tree and I scooped up one of their wired napkin holders. As well, in the kitchen section, I found these cool leather placemats. And then I also scooped up one of these rectangular gold wire baskets. So I began by placing my wire basket over top of the wired napkin holder. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut off the rim around the wire basket and this just makes it easier to move the wires. I'm also going to take the wires at the end, one end, and I'm going to cut those off. Then I'm going to go around and I'm going to continue cutting off the rim like I said so that this wire basket is more pliable and I can actually shape it and mold it around my wire napkin holder. Once I have it all shaped out, I'm then going to come in and take some plastic zip ties and I'm going to attach the napkin holder directly in the middle using the zip ties and I'm going to pull them really tight and this is going to form the wired basket onto the napkin holder to create the shape. So I'm going to attach it in four areas on each side of the napkin holder, pulling them really tight and then cutting off the ends of the zip ties. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a battery operated flashlight. This flashlight has two functions, so a side light and a top light. And I'm going to use zip ties to attach it to the napkin holder. Then I'm going to take my leather placemat and placing it on the front of the wire basket, I'm going to wrap it around to the back. This placemat is the perfect size and meets perfectly at the back. I'm going to take some zip ties to secure it, working the zip ties through the holes and then pulling them nice and tight. Once I have four zip ties in place, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some scissors to cut off the excess of the zip ties so they're not sticking out. And then my wall sconce is completed. To hang my wall sconce on my wall, it's very light, so I'm just going to use a little bit of 3M command strip picture hanging strips. So these are super easy to use. They're just Velcro and you just stick them together and then there's a sticky side on each. So you can stick one side to the wall sconce and then one side to your wall. All you need to do is simply follow the hanging instructions on the back of the package and you can hang up the wall sconce. I designed this wall sconce for this area by my front door. It's a darker area and needed a little light. And I was so happy that I was able to do this with just a few Dollar Tree supplies. It didn't cost me very much at all. And now I have a beautiful light that I can use here by my side door and it just fills this space perfectly. I hope this project inspires you to get creative with things that you find at Dollar Tree and even use this idea to create your own. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk and we'll see you on another video. Today's DIY, we're gonna head over to the dollar store and we're gonna grab a metal colander and we are going to make a hanging lamp out of this. So what you want to do is you just want to go and find a colander that has a shape that you like. First thing you'll be doing is taking the handle off and it actually will just slip out pretty easily. If you need pliers you can grab some. Then we're going to grab some gold spray paint and spray it all gold so it just changes the whole look of it. And that dries super quick. Then we are going to add these cool kind of bell-like little trinkets at the bottom that I found that I just love. And we're going to grab some twine that I got from the dollar store and cut that about four inch length and fold it in half and take the loop side and you're going to put it through the bell. And you could do this with any bell or trinkets that you find at the dollar store. And then you're just going to continue doing this on all the bells until you have enough bells to go all the way around your chandelier. And this could be a really unique chandelier for your style. So maybe you want to add shells or crystals or something that you find at the dollar store or when you're out shopping, maybe even at a craft store. And then we're just going to continue on until we have enough. And after we have enough, we're going to start adding it to our chandelier. So grab your first bell and you're going to tie it right onto the chandelier. And I kind of chose to do it wherever these loops are. You kind of see these loops um, at the bottom. And that's where I'm going to hang each bell. And I'm going to alternate between different styles of the bell. And I'm just going to continue all the way around, double knotting it and not worrying about the length of the twine. 
until the end. I'm just going to trim it off at the end. When you have enough bells all the way around your chandelier, you're going to grab some scissors and you're just going to trim off the little excess tails. And I like to keep a tiny little tail still remaining because it's kind of a cool boho kind of vibe. Now we're going to grab a wood bead garland and I chose one that was more geometric. And what it is, is just some beads that have a knot in between. And you can get some round ones at the dollar store. I just chose some more uh, geometric. And you're gonna go all the way around and measure the length just to fit right in that little ledge right there. And then grab some hot glue. And this is some um, Gorilla Glue hot glue, which I love. And you're gonna glue the twine and then you're just gonna reinforce it and glue it again right on the inside. And this totally holds up. The twine and the Gorilla Glue are really a strong bond. Next, I'm gonna grab some rope that I also got at the dollar store, and I'm gonna tie that in a knot right at the top. And then I have about a two and a half inch length that I left, and I'm gonna grab some twine, and I'm gonna wrap that around a bunch of times and knot that to make it secure and strong. And now you're probably wondering how are we gonna light this? Now you could get a cord with a light bulb and put it through there, but I decided to make it a cordless chandelier that I can hang in an area where I don't have a plug. So I'm gonna use a battery operated light bulb and it has like a little holster with a magnet and you hot glue that in there and then I decided I didn't want it to be white so that you, since it's an open chandelier, so I put some frog tape along the top of my light bulb. And then I took the same gold spray paint and I sprayed the entire outside of the light bulb. And just wanna make sure that you're gonna put tape also on the magnetic side that you're um, using to adhere to put it in there. See, I put a little piece of paper in there. That's the magnet side, just so that you don't get any um, spray paint in there. And then you put the little light bulb in there and you have a chandelier. Look how cute this is. Wait do you see it hanging. So I put this in our guest bathroom and hung it there and see it has a remote control and it is so cute and very boho chic and I love the way it turned out. And I can see it in so many different variations. I can see it, like I said, you can even have like little pom-poms on it. Really anything because this light fixture is so easy, so versatile and the style possibilities are endless. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think it turned out fantastic and I hope you guys tried this one at home. And until next time, bye.